up until the 19th century, people believed that disease was caused by coming into contact with bad air, poisonous air. Um, they refer to this bad air as the miasma. This was depicted in some of the artwork of the day, such as Robert Seymour's picture here of this ghost-like wind um, passing over the people here in which he was de depicting uh, a cholera epidemic. And so they believed that the cholera was being spread by bad air. The idea that bad air or smell um, is depicted in other things in our history. You'll be familiar with this image here of the plague doctors from an earlier period. The reason I show this is because in the, um, in the mask of the plague doctor um, at the front there, I'll just draw that in red so you can see what I'm pointing to here. Oops. Here. Um, the doctors uh, would place um, aromatic compounds, things that smelled good. Often flowers, dried flowers were very popular. And they believed that because the flowers smelled good and disease smelled bad, that the flowers would cancel out the possibility of catching uh, an infection. Another place where we find out about disease and smell is here in the classic children's nursery rhyme, ring a ring a rosy. Ring a ring a rosy, the rosy refers, the ring of rosy refers to the pattern of spots caused by the disease. And then in the next line, it talks about a pocket full of posies. Now, posy is dried flowers. So here, once more, they're trying to use the good smell, the so-called good smell of the dried flowers as protection against the miasma of the plague. A tissue, a tissue. So people have caught the disease and now they fall down and they fall down dead. So in those days, people believed that bad smells were the cause of disease. In 1860 to 64, the great French microbiologist Louis Pasteur performed a number of experiments which are illustrated by these images here, in which Pasteur was growing broth, what was called broth. This was a nutrient for microorganisms. And although we're not going to do the details of that experiment here, what Pasteur showed was that what was actually causing the disease were microorganisms, microbes in the air were the cause of disease, not the bad air itself. And of course, germ theory is even today our theory of how infectious diseases can be spread by air or water. But it's the pathogen in the air or water which causes the disease, not the air or the water itself. So miasma theory was replaced by germ theory of Louis Pasteur. And then this was later developed by the likes of Robert Koch, who we'll look at in another screencast.